now. Your first worn weather forecast from Chief Meteorologist Candace King. Well, it is a hot one out there. Once again, temperatures climbing into the low to mid 90s. The heat index in a couple of spots reaching close to 100 degrees as we continue with this stretch of high heat that'll take us at least through the end of the week, if not into the start of the weekend. 94 temperature here in Rockford, 90 in Freeport, 91 in Janesville. But you notice that heat index number. Most of us in the mid and upper 90s as far as that heat index reading. Couple of spots earlier this afternoon did make it close to 100 degrees and that is the trend that'll take us through the next couple of days. Now our dew point temperatures, those numbers mixing down a bit. So what does that mean? Some drier air from above mixing down towards the surface. So it's keeping that high dew point reading the mid 70s out of the area. But you notice still dew point temperatures in the upper 60s doesn't really make it feel any better out there. So with this kind of prolonged uh, heat and moisture, that'll keep that heat index value at least the next couple of days, ranging anywhere from 95, maybe at its highest point, 100 to 101. So with that, there is a heat advisory that remains in effect for Stevenson, Joe Davies, Carroll, and Whiteside counties, and this will actually run through Tuesday evening. So even though areas to the east of there are not under that heat advisory, it's important to know that with this prolonged heat stretch, any um, strenuous activity outside will put a little extra stress on your body. So it's important to know the signs between heat exhaustion and heat stroke and kind of what to do if you start to feel your body uh, react in that way. Faint or dizzy, excessive sweating, cool, pale, call me skin, rapid, weak pulse, and then muscle cramps, heat exhaustion. You want to make sure you get inside with the air conditioning, drink plenty of water and take a cool shower, use cool compresses. When it gets a little more serious, when you start to get those symptoms as far as that heat stroke, especially if you are going to be spending any prolonged period of time outdoors. We take a live look with our SkyTrack camera here out at the Poplar Grove Airport. We've had some clouds build up, some cumulus clouds, and from time to time we've had an isolated shower or two, but with the heating of the day and that moisture, we've been able to build up that cumulus field. With very very little wind shear or really support from above. The showers, thunderstorms that have been forming locally have kind of fallen apart and they've been very, very isolated. Notice the isolated nature of that. Now keeping an eye on some showers that are forming here down around Quincy. As these gradually lift to the northeast, we may see a few isolated thunderstorms for about six, seven o'clock. After that, things will stay relatively quiet. Little relief comes as far as our temperatures go once again as we're back down into the low 70s for tonight night. We've got an isolated thunderstorm chance. Again, that coverage about 20% going into tomorrow afternoon with the heating of the day, but notice our temperatures. They are back into the low 90s where we may see a better chance of some showers, thunderstorms that'll be coming in with a cold front as that works in our direction late Tuesday into Wednesday morning. This could bring us a few showers and a couple of thunderstorms there on Wednesday and that trend will carry over into Thursday as well before that front is pulled back north as a warm front once we get into Friday, Saturday. So high temperature for tomorrow, 93. We'll maintain those lower 90s if we see that front lift a little further north Wednesday, Thursday, back into the low 90s again for Friday. Maybe a little relief here, guys, as we look towards the end of the weekend.